I've gone back and forth about even making this video. The case has taken a turn as they have found a body. They haven't verified that it's Gabby Petito's body, but I've been um, saddened by this case and also angered by this case. It's highlighting a long string this week of stories I've seen of women being victimized by their boyfriends, partners, um, a woman getting killed after a baby shower, an ex-boyfriend killing his ex-girlfriend. And these cases are just really showing to me the lack of respect for life and also an issue with mental health where people are raging out all over but then when it comes to domestic relationships it's gotten really bad and the other part of the rage comes when the first video I ever saw about the case I was saddened and a lot of people that I've been watching have been saying how it really has been making them feel a certain way and I don't know why we're all feeling so miserable and sad I mean it's a sad thing but it's like you know we didn't know her but when I watch it I get a different sense of sadness and the fact that he was allowed to come home without her after her mother reported her missing and tell the police that he was refusing to talk how in the world is he able was he able to get away with this and now he has he has escaped. He is a fugitive. They say he's missing and he may be in danger. No, he has been hiding information and then he left under the watchful eye of his parents and or the cops because they've been camped out in front of his house claiming that he was inside only talking to his parents. Then come to find out he snuck out the back and is now gone into the ether, a murderer gone into the ether. And that's my biggest issue with this case people on social media and all over did a great job like piecing together you can see on the map with the time of when you know her parents say that they left people seeing them on the road where he was slapping her and they were having physical altercations getting stopped by the police the body cams of her in distress and even the after point of other people seeing his van elsewhere in the parks during the time when him and Gabby should have been either coming home together and even people giving him rides. And it's just showing a sad story of a toxic, bad relationship. You know, I don't know how their home life was, but if he was comfortable enough to do this on the road, who knows what her home life was like. And the police failed them. We try to give respect to the police, but even with all of the protest and about police brutality, we also bring up the fact of police ineptitude, how they overreact in certain cases and underreact in others. This was a clear case of underreaction. You've got a woman who is missing. You've got a man who comes back from a trip without her and refuses to speak. And you give him all the leeway in the world to disappear and give us nothing. Um, I, I watched Jess at Bahati Life. You know, I love her. I always watch her. She did a reading. She often does celebrity readings, but not very often. She may take it down. And even me, it's hard. We want to respect this case, but give her video a watch and see exactly what she says and the feelings that she was getting even before I watched this, because she just did this a few days ago. And I was feeling all of this before that about, the distress that Gabby was in and perhaps potentially where her body might have been. Um, she always wants to help. She doesn't do anything maliciously, but we were all just feeling something and I know it weighed heavy on her. So just give that video a watch while it's up. So we send prayers up and out for Gabby, especially her family. This is such a difficult time right now. And we just pray for closure and justice.